Hello guys, welcome back in Unique Concepts of Physics. So in this video, I'll teach you about the basics of springs and spring balances. And this is the first time in complete mechanics when we are starting with spring. And spring is such a topic that it would be uh, coming in uh, other chapters of the mechanics also again and again. But uh, with the different properties of spring, uh, in all different chapters. So the basic property which we are concerned uh, of the spring in this chapter is the concept of force and the tension in the spring. So uh, let us suppose that there is a spring which is attached to a rigid wall from one side and a block of mass m from other side. And in this case a spring is in relaxed position. It is not stretched or it is not compressed. So the tension force in the spring will be zero. Now if I stretch the spring by a distance of x, then a force will be developed in the spring which will try uh, to bring back the spring into its original relaxed length. So this force is called as restoring force. And you can imagine that why we are calling it so because uh, it is uh, tending to uh, minimize the tension in the spring and it is uh, tending to bring back the spring in its original uh, length so this force is called as restoring force now this force is proportional to the extension or compression which we are applying on the spring and uh, more the uh, extension more will be the restoring force and uh, this proportionality sign is replaced by a constant k which is a spring constant spring which is uh, given in the question okay now if we compress this block against this spring then this restoring force will act in different direction due to the fact that it would it will again try to uh, make this block uh, move in forward direction so that spring attains its uh, relaxed position now <coughs> this uh, force now if i cut this spring from this point then uh, this force will become zero and this is a very important fact which i am pointing out here that if you uh, cut the spring from any of its end then at the immediate uh, time when you are cutting the spring the tension force uh, in the complete spring becomes zero so it is a very important fact which is in, important to note that if we uh, cut this spring from any point uh, then at the same moment of time the tension in the spring becomes zero okay and uh, <clears throat> the next uh, thing of the spring is the spring balance you must have seen this spring balance uh, by many farmers uh, for used for measuring the weight of <coughs> uh, those wheat bags or uh, grain bags and uh, this is uh, I'm, I've drawn this spring balance uh, tentatively and uh, you can see that uh, this spring balance works on the fact that when we uh, impose some mass here then this mass uh, stretches this spring and this spring gives some reading and it is very important to note that there is a basic difference between a spring and a spring balance is the fact that a spring can be compressed or it can be stretched but that a spring balance gives reading only in the stretched position because when the spring balance uh, is in relaxed position then uh, its reading is zero so it cannot be compressed and obviously if we are putting some mass on this hook then this mass would not compress the spring in fact it would uh, stretch this spring so uh, it is very important to note that uh, if uh, the spring balance is giving some reading of weight 
then uh, that spring balance must be in a stretched position only but spring uh, can be compressed and uh, stretched uh, in any case now we will uh, discuss the questions which are based on these two properties of the spring and the spring balance in the next video i hope you got the concept thank you hello guys uh, this video has a numerical package which contains the questions numerical questions which are based on the springs and spring balances and uh, in the first question which you can see on the screen that there is a spring which is connected with rope and a block of mass m and uh, that block of mass m is connected with a rope and uh, another block of mass 2m now we uh, are concerned to find out the accelerations of these blocks when uh, only uh, spring is cut or only either rope is cut so we need to find out the acceleration of the blocks okay now uh, for that uh, first of all let us assume that uh, in the situation which is shown in the diagram that nothing is being cutted and uh, spring and string are connected as shown so we need to find out the uh, extension or we need to find out the tension in the spring so uh, you can see that let's suppose there is a force f uh, in the spring and this force is balancing out the system which has a total mass of 3m so there will be a force of 3mg acting in downward direction so this force will be balancing out 3mg okay so we know now that this uh, tension in the uh, spring will be 3mg at the initial instant now if uh, spring is cut first case is when the spring is being removed when spring is being removed then these two blocks will fall under the effect of gravity and their 3 mg will be equal to 3 ma and their accelerations a will be equal to g so they will be in the state of free fall and the tension in the rope will be zero now tension in the rope will be zero is due to the fact that if this block is falling uh, with an acceleration of g and uh, there is a rope which is connected with this block then uh, in the case of free fall only one force is uh, acting on the block that is mg and no other force is acted upon the block so uh, the tension force in the rope will be zero and this conclusion uh, you can uh, see analytically by writing down the equation of tension for this block which i have circled now in the second case <coughs> when i have uh, cutted this string and not the spring then i have to draw the free body diagram of the block a now the situation will be like that and i am talking about the instantaneous acceleration so i am talking about uh, the accelerations of the blocks just at the instant when i have uh, cutted the string now uh, this block of mass 2m will be in the state of free fall as there will be only single force mg which would be acting on this block and hence its acceleration will be equal to g but if i draw the free body diagram of this block a then i can see that spring will still applying a force f which was 3 mg on the block and mg will be acting on the block in downward direction therefore the acceleration of the block will be in upward direction and a will be equal to 3 mg minus mg upon m 
therefore a will be equal to 2g so the acceleration of the block a will be equal to 2g in the upward direction so this is a very important conclusion that uh, at the same instant when i have uh, cut it this uh, string this rope then spring is still in stretched position and hence spring will still apply the force f is equal to 3 mg on the block a and therefore due to the bigger force this block a will move in the upward direction now we move on the similar next question in this question uh, you can see that we have to find out the instantaneous accelerations of the blocks when first case is uh, only spring is cut and the second case is only this rope is cut we are not cutting them one by one we are uh, cutting either of the one either we are cutting the rope or either we are cutting the spring so we need to find out the extension initial extension and tension force in the spring and for that we can see that this spring <coughs> is supporting this 2 mg mass and hence the force in the spring will be 2 mg only initially now the first case is the case in which spring is cut so in this case uh, i can see that this block which is connected to the rope will stay in its original position and the initial tension in the rope was 3 mg and this tension will instantaneously become mg it will reduce instantaneously okay this is a important thing that rope will adjust its tension at the same time when some change will occur but a spring cannot ad uh, adjust on the same time so uh, if we have cut it this spring the tension force in the complete spring will become zero and hence uh, this block of mass 2m will fall freely and its acceleration will be equal to g now uh, in the second case in which uh, we have cutted that rope now in the case of rope cutting we are drawing the free body diagram of block of mass n then there will be a force mg which is acting on this block in downward direction as well as this spring force f which is equal to 2 mg will also be acting on this block in downward direction and therefore the acceleration of this block a will be equal to uh, 3 mg upon 3m in fact 3 mg upon n so this acceleration will be equal to 3g now if i draw the free body diagram of this mass 2m so uh, there would be a force 2mg which is acting on this mass in the downward direction and a uh, spring force f which is equal to 2mg which will act in upward direction and hence these force will cancel out with each other at that instant and therefore its acceleration will be zero at the same instant after some time there will be a uh, different kind of motion but we are concerned to find out the accelerations at the moment when uh, any change is occurring in the system so this is the answer and uh, you can note a simple conclusion that if uh, there is a spring in the lowest part of the system and uh, any block which is connected on the bottom of the spring then if we uh, do some change in the system uh, apart from cutting the spring then the acceleration of this lowest block will be zero always now uh, we uh, if we cut this rope then the acceleration of this lowest block will be zero uh, at that instant now we move on the next question in this question we can see that there are two springs and again we need to find out the accelerations when we are cutting either of the spring now first of all we are finding out the value of uh, 
force spring force which is uh, developed initially in those springs so the spring force in this spring uh, first one is f1 will be balancing out 3 mg you can see that this spring force will be balancing the complete mass which is uh, attached at the bottom of the spring and the complete mass of the system which which is attached at the bottom of the first spring is 3 mg and similarly uh, we can see that there will be a tension force f2 in the lower spring which will be uh, balancing out 2 mg okay now now when the upper spring is cut so the first case when the upper spring is cut then i am drawing the free body diagram of <coughs> block a i can see that block a will be uh, having a force mg due to its weight in the downward direction and the block a will be experiencing a force f2 also due to the lower spring in downward direction so its acceleration will be obviously in downward direction and its value will be <coughs> mg plus f2 upon n now f2 has a value of 2 mg so it would be 3 mg upon m so a will be equal to 3g this is the acceleration of uh, block uh, a now uh, we already have discussed that <coughs> uh, if any change is occurring in the system uh, then uh, apart from the cutting of lower spring then the lowest block will have an uh, acceleration whose value is zero so i can prove it again in the question that this lowest block will be uh, experiencing a force 2 mg due to its weight in the downward direction and a force f2 will be acting on it in the upward direction and this force f2 is the force due to the spring so you can see that this f2 will cancel out this 2 mg and hence its acceleration will be zero at the instant so we can uh, in next questions will uh, draw this will write this conclusion directly without solving it so for the second case in the second case uh, the lower spring is being cut so we are drawing the free body diagram of the block a then we can see that <coughs> mg will be acting on the block a in downward direction and a force of f1 which is equal to i'm writing it here this f1 will be equal to 3 mg so 3 mg will be acting on this block in upward direction so it will move in upward direction with the acceleration a and a will be equal to 3 mg minus mg upon m so a will be equal to 2g now if i uh, draw the free body diagram of uh, the lower block then this lower block will be in the state of free fall and its acceleration will be equal to g because uh, a single force of its weight is acting on the lower block okay now we move on the next question in this question uh, there is a spring balance it is attached with two ropes on the either sides and with uh, the same mass of 1 kg on the either side of the ropes now uh, we need to find out the reading of this spring balance and uh, for that i am uh, telling you a simple concept that in any case if the spring is connected spring or spring balance is connected with a rope then the tension in the rope and the tension in the spring or spring balance will be same so you have to remember this thing so uh, by that concept i can see that this system will be in equilibrium and therefore this tension t will be equal to this uh, mg which is 10 newton this tension t will be equal to this mg which will be 10 newton and therefore this tension t will be uh, acting on the spring balance also and hence the reading of spring balance will be equal to this t 
most of the students uh, commit a error that they say that if there is uh, tension T acting towards left and tension T acting towards right, then the total uh, reading of the spring balance will be 2T. But this is absolutely absurd and it is incorrect. Uh, and uh, you have to remember that uh, the tension uh, in this complete spring will be equal to T. It is also due to the fact that if we imagine that there is a force, a restoring force which is uh, acting in the spring, then it would be acting like that. So on both its part, uh, this restoring force will be balancing out the tension and uh, the reading of the spring will be this restoring force. So the correct answer will be option number A. Now we move on to the next problem. In this uh, problem, we can see that uh, there is a system uh, horizontally placed and there is two there are two masses M1 and M2 which are connected <coughs> with the spring as shown in the figure. And there is a force F which is acting on this mass M1 and F is a pushing force. Due to this force F, this mass M1 is having an acceleration of A uh, in the direction of a1 in fact in the direction right hand side so we need to find out the acceleration of mass m2 now we can imagine that if we are pushing this block of mass m1 with force f then this spring will all be deformed it will be compressed and therefore this compressed spring will pushing this block with some force F, let's suppose F, and therefore this F will be acting at this side also. So if I write the equation of this block, then uh, let's suppose this force is F0, okay, because F is given already. So if I write the equation of this block, then it would be like F minus F0 will be equal to M1A1. And uh, F0 will be equal to F minus M1 A1. This is the first equation. Now the same force uh, F0 is responsible for the acceleration of this block M2. And let's suppose that acceleration of this block is A2. Then F0 will be equal to M2 A2. And F0 is F minus M1 A1 will be equal to M2 A2 and A2 will be equal to F minus M1 A1 upon M2. So this will be the uh, acceleration of this block of mass M2. Now, if, uh, now the correct option will be D. And if you are having uh, a doubt that how do you know, how do I know that this spring is in compressed state, this is uh, due to the fact that uh, that block M2 will move due to the uh, compression force of the spring that is F0. If a spring is in uh, the relaxed state, then there will be no acceleration of block M2 and the answer would be zero. So this is not the uh, option in the four choices. So we can see that the spring will be in a compressed state uh, when uh, we have applied this force F on block of mass M1. Now we move on the next question. In this problem we can see that uh, there is a spring balance which is, which is attached with a trolley of mass 2 kg and the reading of the spring balance is uh, 10 Newton during the motion. Now in fact 10 kg during the motion. Now this 10 kg is equal to uh, 98 newtons this is equivalent to 98 newtons because g is 99.8 okay now uh, we can see that uh, this force of 98 newtons uh, which is developed in the spring balance will be applicable on this trolley and this force will be pulling the trolley and uh, this force f uh, will be acting in the right hand direction 
and therefore the acceleration of the trolley will be f is equal to m a and f will be 98 and the mass of the trolley will be 2 kg and its acceleration a so a will be equal to 98 49 uh, meters per second square this is the required value of acceleration which is the option number c now we move on to the next problem now uh, in this question uh, there are two masses one is 10 kg and other one is 20 kg and they are attached with a spring uh, and a force of 200 newton is uh, acting on this 20 kg mass towards right hand side and when uh, the at this instant uh, the acceleration of this 10 kg block is 12 meters per second square towards the right now uh, we have to find out the acceleration of this 20 kg block now you should imagine that why this 10 kg block is moving towards right and you if you imagine this question then you will quickly get an answer that there will be a spring force acting on this 20 kg block towards uh, right side so due to this force f naught it will be moving so f naught will be equal to 10 a and a is 12 so f naught will be equal to 120 newton and we have calculated the spring force in the spring for acceleration of 20 kg we can see that 200 is acting towards right side and uh, this 120 newton is acting towards left side so 200 minus 120 will be equal to ma and m will be 20 and a will be a now this is 80 is equal to 20 a and a will be equal to 4 meters per second square so the correct option will be option number b now uh, we move on the next problem in this problem you can see that there is a lift and uh, there are two springs which are attached in the lift there is a mass uh, m which is unknown and it is attached in between the springs spring balances and the reading of spring balances are shown uh, are given in the question itself uh, the reading of uh, spring balance s1 is 90 kg and the reading of spring balance s2 is 30 kg the lift and the complete system is accelerating upward is uh, accelerating in upward direction with an acceleration of 10 meters per second square and we have to find out uh, the mass of the block of mass m and uh, the system is in equilibrium it is given now uh, if i draw the free body diagram of the block i can see that <coughs> there will be a force mg which will be acting in downward direction now it is very important to note that spring balances are only uh, useful when they are stretched i mean to say that when a spring balance is giving some uh, reading that means uh, it is stretched and uh, it will pull back the uh, object uh, towards itself so if a spring balance s1 has a reading of 90 kg then it will uh, be pulling the mass m towards itself which is in upward direction with 900 newtons of force and uh, therefore the spring balance which has a reading of 30 kg it would be pulling the mass towards itself uh, by an uh, force of 300 newton <coughs> now again uh, there is additional force which is the pseudo force which would be acting in downward direction due to the upward acceleration of the lift so the value of pseudo force <coughs> will be equal to m a and it would be equal to 10 m and m g will also be equal to 10 m because g is assumed to be 10 now if i balance the force i would get the equation as 900 will be equal to 300 plus 20 m and 20 m will be equal to uh, 600 therefore m will be equal to uh, 3 kg in fact 30 kg so the correct answer 
will be option number B. Now uh, we move on the next problem. In this question, there is a, a lift and uh, the lift is moving in upward direction with an acceleration of 5 meters per second square. And inside the lift, there is a spring balance and a mass is attached to that spring balance. And this mass is being kept on a weighing machine. The reading of the spring balance is 15. Uh, in fact, the reading of spring balance is 45 kg and the reading of weighing machine is 15 kg. Now we have to find out the mass of the object in first question. We have to find out the normal reaction force which is acting on this mass due to the spring balance, due to the weighing machine. So, so let us draw the free body diagram of this mass for the first question. And let's suppose this mass is n. <coughs> now, the mg will be acting in downward direction. Uh, pseudo force will be acting in downward direction and pseudo force will be equal to uh, F pseudo will be equal to MA. M into A is 5. The normal reaction uh, of the weighing machine will be uh, equal to uh, R will be equal to that uh, 50, 15 kg weight. 15 kg weight is 150 newtons of force. So the normal reaction R will be 150 which will be acting in upward direction and uh, the spring balance is reading 45 kg which means spring balance will, uh, will be applying a force of 450 newton in upward direction because spring balance always pulls uh, the object. So if uh, I equate uh, these forces then I would be getting that F spring plus normal reaction due to the weighing machine will be uh, balanced by M into G is 10 plus M into 5. So this uh, is 1 600 newtons will be equal to 15 M and M will be equal to 40 kg. So uh, the mass uh, would be 40 kg. And uh, only by uh, analyzing the uh, answer of the mass, we can say that the correct option would be option number B. But we need to find out the normal reaction also, which already we have used in the question that it would be 150 newtons. So the correct answer will be option number B. Now, if uh, in the second question, if the lift is stopped and equilibrium is reached, then the reading of weighing machine and the spring balance will be. Now, when lift will stop, then we can see that there will be no pseudo force acting on the mass. So there will be <coughs> mg whose value will be 400 Newton and there will be uh, a spring force, spring balance force, which will be equal to 450 Newton. Now you can see that <coughs> by analyzing only the spring force, you can see that the spring force in this stretched position, when the spring is stretched in such a way such that this mass is touching the weighing machine, then spring will be applying this force of 450 Newton. So if the lift is uh, stopped, then uh, the spring force will lift up the um, block because the weight of the block is lesser than the spring force. And hence, if the spring will lift up the block, then the uh, reading of weighing machine will become zero as well as uh, the reading of spring balance will become uh, equal to the mg. So the reading of spring balance in kilograms would be 40 kg and the reading of uh, that weighing machine will be equal to uh, <coughs> zero. So uh, in the correct sequence, it is asking the weighing machine reading uh, before the spring balance reading. So uh, the correct option will be D, option number D. Okay, now that in the third question, uh, we have to find out the acceleration of the lift such that the weighing machine shows the true weight of the block. Okay, now let us again draw the free body diagram and let us use this diagram. Now we can see uh, that 
uh, if the block is touching the weighing machine then only weighing machine will be giving some uh, reading and if the block is touching the weighing machine then the spring balance will be stretched by uh, such a distance such that its reading will be equal to 450 newton because we all know that the uh, reading of spring balance depends on the amount of the spring uh, amount of uh, uh, in extension in the spring so the extension in the spring will be same if the block is touching the weighing machine so the extension would be such such that the spring force will be 450 newton and mg will be 400 newton now let us suppose the acceleration which is asked in the question is a and therefore there is a pseudo force acting on the block which is equal to 40a 40 is the mass of the block <coughs> now uh, apart from this uh, the reaction normal reaction of the uh, spring that weighing machine should be equal to the true weight so the true weight of uh, <coughs> this uh, block of mass m will be 400 newtons so the true weight will be 400 newtons so so if we balance the forces then we'll get that 400 plus 450 will be equal to 40 plus 400 newton in fact 40 a plus 400 so by cancelling these uh, a uh, will be 45 by 4 which is equal to uh, option number which is same as the option number a so the correct answer for the third question will be option number a now uh, we move on the next question <coughs> in this question uh, it is given that there is an object of mass m which is suspended in equilibrium using a string of length l and there is a spring having a spring constant k which is uh, given as k is less than 2 mg by l i if i rearrange uh, these uh, uh, variables then i'll get that kl by 2 will be less than mg okay this is the uh, uh, this is the required <coughs> fact which is given in the question and the unstretched length of the spring is l by 2 now as you can see in the diagram uh, the mg is greater than kl by 2 and at in this position the spring uh, which is having a unstretched relaxed length this is relaxed position uh, as l by 2 so spring is being stretched by a distance of l by 2 and therefore the force which spring will be applying on the block will be f is equal to k l by 2 in the upward direction but uh, as given in the question that mg is greater than kl by 2 therefore uh, only spring force will not be able to balance the weight of this block therefore the rope will also have some tension t in it so if i draw the free body diagram of this block then uh, i'll get that that mg would be acting in the downward direction kl by 2 will be acting in the upward direction and tension t will be acting in the upward direction and if i balance the forces uh, then t plus k l by 2 will be equal to mg and t will be equal to mg minus k l by 2 so the correct option uh, for the first question will be option number a in which uh, we are uh, required to find out the tension in the string so the option number a will be the correct option now for the second question we have to find out the acceleration of the block just after the string is cut so if we cut the string then <coughs> i'm drawing the free body diagram again after cutting the string uh, then mg would be acting in downward direction and uh, kl by 2 will be acting in the upward direction and i am again reminding you that kl by 2 is less than mg therefore the acceleration of the block will be in the downward direction 
एंड वी कैन सी दैट ए विल बी इक्वल टू एम जी माइनस के एल बाय टू अपॉन एम सो ए वुड बी इक्वल टू जी माइनस के एल बाय टू एम सो द करेक्ट आंसर वुड बी ऑप्शन नंबर बी ओके नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट इन द थर्ड क्वेश्चन दैट व्हाट हैपेंस इफ के इज ग्रेटर देन टू एम जी बाय एल so now if in the third case if k l by 2 is greater than mg then obviously we can see that uh, k l by 2 is more than mg therefore this spring will lift up the block from this position it will lift up the block and th this rope will get slacked and therefore the tension in the rope will become zero so uh, the uh, Correct option uh, will be option number C, as well as we have to check all other options uh, too, because we don't know that is this question is a uh, more than one correct uh, option or not. So the for option number A, uh, it is given that equilibrium the tension in the string is negative. There is a uh, no negative tension that can exist in the rope because rope cannot push. So A option is absolutely a wrong fact. so option number b at equilibrium position the change in the length of the spring is greater than l by 2 which means that in the equilibrium position this mass will go up by a distance of uh, by a distance which is greater than l by 2 it is not possible because if this mass will go up by a distance greater than l by 2 then a spring will be compressed and a compressed spring will be pushing this mass in the downward direction as well as mg will be acting in the downward direction due to which that position would not be the equilibrium position so the option number b is also not correct and for option number d uh, it is given that if we cut the string the bl block will accelerate uh, in the upward direction this is also not correct because uh, the string does not play any role in this uh, case in the third case because the tension in the string is zero in the case of equilibrium so it will not play any role so the correct option will only be the option number c okay now we uh, move on the next question 